Okay, folks, we are back in my kitchen, and we're talking about the plants of the Bible in cinnamon. And I just want to go over a few more little tea, tiny tea ideas for you, inexpensive. You might even have things on hand. It is cold and flu season, and it's very simple to do something just like this. So let me readjust this camera. Um, and thank you for bearing with me as I'm learning all this technology. This is my cup of tea here. <laughs> it's my cup of tea. Plants and such are my cup of tea. All right, so it is as simple as taking some cinnamon, just regular old cinnamon, and adding it to a chamomile tea bag, either like this or with a cinnamon stick. You can reuse the sticks over and over again because you're not going to get all the benefit of a, a three inch stick like this. Now, constant comment, this is going to be upside down, of course, but this is a very familiar brand of tea from Bigelow. This has cinnamon in it. You can make it a little bit more enhancing of the cinnamon for cold and flu season by adding your cinnamon stick and a bit of honey. Uh, maybe even a dash of pepper if you want to really open up your your uh, sinuses and your respiratory system. So very simple, very easy to use, cold and flu season. Um, if you have a peppermint tea bag, peppermint and chamomile and cinnamon to go together very, very nicely. So now we're going to put that all out of the way at this moment. Now. I am, I'll tell you, I think um, I'm trying to decide because I still have a lot of things in front of me before we get to the aromatherapy portion. It's still a little too hot to drink. I'll put that to the side. Now, I had a little, uh, let me do this. I had a little tea and spice shop for about well, three and a half years in downtown Mooresville, North Carolina. And due to an infestation of termites, we moved to the antique booth. But the healing properties of the uh, custom blends that I was doing for people, as well as people coming in and getting uh, hands-on and one-on-one -on -one consultation with me for their aromatherapy, none of that has left me. Um, but because God has his way, of closing one door so another one can be entered into um, in a greater capacity instead of only doing something halfway, now it's full way. And my coach, Bill, Co Bill Walsh, has named me a global wellness specialist, and in part it's because of what I do in Israel. Now, I know though, I still need to continue to help people with some of my custom blends. So I'm starting a new tea line and it is called a Royal Cup. Now the Royal Tea comes from Royal Tea, got it? <laughs> also, um, a few of my blends contain holy basil, which is known as the queen of herbs. So I just really briefly want to show you uh, three of my blends here that do use cinnamon in them. And um, this is the end of December of 2019. Uh, in just a few weeks, we'll be launching this. You'll get Facebook notification as well as, um, I don't know, Facebook notification. And probably Instagram. We will go into this. But I'm going to adjust this again and show you my three, three of my blends that do have cinnamon in it. Each one is absolutely delicious. And... I need to get a couple more of my little spoons out to show you. But we're going to put this down and get readjusted here a little bit. Um, let's see if I can get this up a little closer. I don't, I'm, I'm, you know, this technology stuff, guys, is really new to me. Really new to me. All right, let me get a couple more of my little spoons. I love my little spoons. I keep them handy. All right. Now, the first one we're going to talk about is my Serenity blend. Serenity has chamomile in it. It has rooibos, aniseed, linden petals. Now, linden is uh, linden flower petals is a very relaxing in itself. There's passion flower in here. There is cinnamon in here. Let's see if I can find a cinnamon chip. 
There's a little bit of orange pieces. Here's a little bit of camera mile. It's really hard to see, I'm sure, on the camera here, but this smells delicious. It smells delicious. And it really does relax me. It's one of my really fun relaxing ones. I have another one um, that does not have cinnamon in it. I call it lullaby, and that one about knocks me out. But anyway, this is one of my new ones. It's called Serenity. It's a it's one of my wellness blends. What I'm doing is I'm structuring a royal cup to be functional and wellness teas, as well as some of the English black favorites. Um, just continuing with my love of herbs and spices and teas and aromatherapy, because you see, tea is aromatherapy. Uh, you can remember I said that. But anyway, we want to be able to share with the world and still give my clients an opportunity to come and still get some of these blends. Now, the next one I have to share with you is Moringa Morning. Now, Moringa is uh, a plant that grows in South Africa. And also, it's interesting that we at Biblical Tamar Park, we have a couple of Moringa trees within just a few feet of us. Moringa is known as a drum, drum, drumstick tree but the health benefits benefits are amazing and you're going to continue to hear more and more about moringa and as uh as being basically an all over tonic in here though we also have strawberry leaves now a lot of people know about raspberry leaf and how that's good for women's issues as well as during the last trimester of pregnancy and when new mothers begin to nurse their babies but um, I can, I mean, let me get this really close to you. I can maybe even see it. There is a little bit of a cinnamon chip in there. We also have in here safflower, safflower petals, as well as the immune builder of dandelion leaves. So the combination of moringa and strawberry leaves, strawberry leaves have a lot of vitamins and iron as well as dandelion leaves makes this for an all over great tea now there's no caffeine in it and there doesn't need to be but i still call it moringa morning because a lot of people cannot have caffeine in the morning but they still want um, a natural pick me up or you know uh, help me get on my day type of thing and moringa has that possibility to do anyway that's one of my new tea blends that I'm launching at with a royal cup. Now this one here is so fun, and this is my cold and flu blend. Um, you know, I just went over a whole lot of combinations, and it really it is endless what you can do with a little bit of very basic tea, like a black tea with some cinnamon. Add some fresh grated ginger. Um, you can just use the cinnamon by itself with some lemon and some honey for cough and cold and flu. But what I've put together here, I am using the holy basil as well as adding a little flavor with some apple and orange pieces. This is an orange piece right here. And now I also, because when you have cold and flu, sometimes you just need to have that that um, warming spice and we do have warming spice in here with the ginger and the cinnamon uh, Tulsi is an adaptogen but we put in here pink peppercorns now pink peppercorns are really great with a cold and flu blend such as the south now when I showed you the top or excuse me the chai tea I neglected to tell you that most chai teas do have black pepper but this one here i'm using the red peppercorns it is such a good warming tea now a dash of honey in there or a little bit of stevia whatever you like this is delicious and this is the one that i have offered to send samples out because i need reviews from others and if you want to be added to that sample list for my cold and flu blend you need to go to www.plantsofthebible.com and I will send you a sample um, as long as you fill out the survey and get it back to me in um, within seven days. I'll send a self-addressed themed envelope 
as well as your tea sample. It is loose tea. I am working on doing all my new teas into a tea bag form, but right now everything will be loose leaf because I am able to um, do it with what I've got. Now, we're going to end this segment again. We're about nine or ten minutes into it, so I want to stop and